Hi there guys, I've recently repaired this Skinander IKEA dishwasher that uh, was previously showing the error 50 code here and uh, wouldn't uh, drain, so the bottom there was full of water. So uh, when you have this error, you'll see the uh, error 50 code appear on the little screen there and it will uh, beep uh, several times. So uh, I'll just be showing you briefly uh, how I fixed that. For this repair, you'll need a T20 screwdriver. That's for removing and replacing the door. And any Phillips head screwdriver you have that will fit. And that's for removing a panel. You'll also need a rag or something absorbent and some little dishes just to help clear out the water. If you've got a, a water vac, that's probably best. But if not, like me, we'll just make you a rag. A cup of tea is optional. So a very important point before we get going, you'll want to make sure that the dishwasher is unplugged uh, or at least switched off at the source. Because what will happen is when we remove the pump motor, it will start running in your hand if it's just switched off. So just switching it off is not enough. You must unplug it. So just under there, I've taken that off the plug there. Okay, next up, you just want to remove the tray as well as the filters so that just pops straight off the filter will just lift out and so will that mesh okay so uh, when this was broken there was a lot more water but that's when your little dishes will come in just to soak up as much of that as you can once you've ensured that the reservoir at the bottom there is as dry as you can get it and that the dishwasher is off. The next step is to remove the door. So what you'll need to do is uh, lift your door to such an angle where that screw will now be visible for the side. Now these this side port will sometimes have a cover on it which will just need to pop off with your finger or a screwdriver. Ours doesn't have that but on the other side will be the same so you just need to unscrew both of those and once you've done that Removing the door should just be as simple as pulling the door up and they'll slide off the rails there. Once the door is removed, you'll have access to this front panel and you'll see four Phillips head screws, which may be in slightly different locations to what was shown here, but they're all just simple Phillips head screws. Once that panel's off, you'll now have access to the drain pump, which is this thing here. So, to remove it, all you need to do is twist it and pull it off. Before you do so, make sure you put either a dish or something absorbent to catch what water's left. So you just want to twist it and pull it away, like so. So at this stage, uh, I found this debris, which blocks these fins from spinning here, which was the cause of the issue. You just want to double check there's nothing stuck in there either. Once you've removed the obstruction, you just want to pop that back on and then twist back into place and then you're done. So at that stage you just want to remove that, put the panel and the door back on and we'll move on to our next step. Right, with the cover and the door back on, the last thing you want to do before you try turning it on is to refill that hole with some water. There's a sensor in the bottom that won't allow the dishwasher to turn on unless that is full. So I'm just gonna put a couple of bowls worth of water in there. Okay. Okay, just pop your filters back on. Take the opportunity to re-top up your salt and your rinse aid and then give it a whirl. Right, and it's all on and ready to go. I'd recommend uh, once you're confident it's working or going to work, give it a run through some dishwasher cleaner and off it goes. Okay, and it's just begun. And I can hear through the sink, it's just draining a little bit there now. Okay, and you shouldn't hear the same error beeps before and it should just execute the program as per usual. A big thank you to Data Van Steyrechen, who wrote the original guide for this fix. 
You'll find a link to that in the description. Thanks for watching.